Good afternoon. We want to talk to you today about something we find kind of funny about humans. You think you're cherry picking your experience. When really, your experience is cherry picking you. You think that you have to control people, circumstances, the things that are in your environment by getting rid of them, by avoiding them. But actually, you've created them. What good does it do you to cherry pick your experience, try to eliminate someone from it or a circumstance or situation that is not to your liking without even taking a look at why it's there? Do you want it to come back again? Do you want to deal with the same thing over and over in your experience? There's simply nothing that's coming to you that's not coming to you holding some value, some understanding, a way about you that if you healed it, your life would be better because of it. How is it that you feel in the circumstance or situation that you're wanting to eliminate from your experience? This would be the really feeling factor or what is held within you that is looking for attention from you. Stop trying to cherry pick your experience and put just the good stuff in that you're thinking that are what you want and start looking at what you've attracted that's really in you, that's coming to you because of something you hold within yourself and it's looking for healing. What might be the feeling that you have when someone enters your experience and they're behaving in a way that's unbecoming or something that's not in alignment to you? Look at that emotion. What is it? What is it when you view someone that perhaps is having an affair or doing something that you feel is not to your liking? What is the emotion that's evoked inside of you? Certainly you noticed you don't feel good. And you take this as your sign or signal that you should eliminate that from your experience when the communication is in fact between you and you and the way that you're thinking and it has nothing to do with the situation that you are actually looking at. It's actually the way you're viewing it, the way you're judging it, and the way you're condemning it. What is the feeling that you get within yourself as you do this? This is the discovery or the cherry that needs to be picked so that you no longer experience that which you're not wanting to experience. You're not going to do it by condemning or judging yourself for having the judgment or the condemnation that you had about someone or something that they're doing. You're going to do it by looking at the emotion that's evoked within you as you look at the thing that you've brought in, by the way, that you don't like the look of. Everything that's happening in your experience carries with it great value. And the value is for you. You don't need to cherry pick your experience. You don't need to try to get things out of it that you think are bad or that don't belong there. That's not going to serve you. You have to understand why those things got there in the first place. You are the creator of your experience. There are some of you out there that don't believe that. Well, that's fine. But your life is going to reveal to you over and over again what it is you do believe what it is that you do judge, what it is that you do condemn and feel. Those are the circumstances and situations and people that will flow into your experience until you finally recognize what it is that you are holding and release it. And how do you release it? You get to know yourself. You get to understand why you drew the conclusion you did by feeling it, by observing it. I can certainly understand why I felt this emotion the minute you ask yourself if you have felt it as a child or it's been in your experience before, the answer is going to be yes. So you didn't pick the wrong signal, but you inadvertently hung on to the signal and therefore keep bringing the same cherry in over and over again. We hope that you understand what it is we're trying to communicate you. There's simply no need to try to control your experience. Your experience has already been picked, and it's being picked by what you hold within you. And so if you just simply notice how you feel about what it is you are holding that is bringing something to you that you are viewing, you'll very easily be able to love that out of yourself by knowing why you chose it, by understanding that most times as a child or in your past life or in your lineage, that there was some kind of an experience that you had that brought the conclusion that, you, that you're holding. It's not wrong. It's not condemnable. It's not judgeable. It simply is. Good day.